Boyle is in, is in readiness now for the start of the 1998 Division II Grand Final. Ball held aloft. Siren goes. And the 98 Grand Final action is underway and the ball is pounded into the Murdermere Street turf. Up they go. A good tap out by McQueen on that occasion. Oh, Springvale District's player ran into a uh, high tackle play on, says the umpire. Kick out of uh, down towards the half forward line there for the Vales on that occasion by uh, Troy Jeffs. And the ball is forced over the line and out of bounds for throw in grandstand side half forward flank for the Vales. They're kicking to the Murdermere Street end of the ground this afternoon. And St Kilda City in this first quarter kicking to the tennis club end. Ball thrown back in. Knocking it away there was Haynes for St Kilda City. They dive on top of that whistle on play here by umpire Thompson. And it'll be a ball up. Tough in the centre square early, Darrell. Um, Justin Wilson of Springvale District's getting crunched. He looks like he's picking up uh, Chris Phelan. So we'll keep an eye on that. Chris and Phelan. Moss has picked up Robbie Burns. That's an interesting move. Thanks, Pace Pete. Wise. Chris Phelan, a very important player in the uh, St Kilda City lineup. And speaking of the Saints, they're into attack now. Down towards the half forward line, over Heuvel's head for Springvale Districts, over the line and out of bounds. In fact, that was Sean Alcock whose head it went over. And it's right in front of our commentary position, grandstand side, centre wing. Queen in ruck there for the Demons. Well, coming over the back there was Sharp, but it's the uh, the Saints who take it on this occasion through um, Paul Moss. Gets it down towards half forward and a relieving mark in defence on that occasion by Craig Smith for the Vales. Puts it onto the left foot, out towards the centre wing. Ball falls to the ground. Opportunity there for Gavin Hall. Got it out in the direction here of uh, Ash Crosher. Crosher down towards half forward. Punch from the back by Springvale Districts. McQueen at the front of the pack. Picks it up onto the right foot. Wobbly kick. Oh, in towards uh, Gavin Hall who tapped it over the back. Graham Hall's got it now. The Springvale District yep. coach taken high as he kicked the ball. And umpire Thompson right on the spot there. Blows the whistle and pays a free kick here to Graham Hall, the Springvale District's captain coach. Darrell, it was a good play by Jason Hall to flick it over his head because uh, McQueen's kick was touched according to the umpire, so he did that well to move it on. Graham Billy Hall Clark has the ball. Is, sorry, sorry Darrell, Vinnie Clark's please. picking up Graham Hall. He copped a few around the, the chops last week too, Wally, so... Two veterans there together as Graham Hall bombs in towards centre half forward, but it's the Saints working hard in defence there and the ball comes out towards the centre wing. Over the head here of Gary Robinson. Opportunity now here for uh, uh, Shane Taylor out there. Swings around onto the right foot, in towards the forward line and taking the mark there was Mark Mott. Spins around, walks around another opponent onto the right foot, but he's kicked it across the face of goal. Golden opportunity going begging there and through for one behind only. First score on the corporate design scoreboard. St Kilda City one behind behind leading Springvale Districts yet to score two and a half minutes gone first quarter. Thanks Darrell and that was a great piece of play by Mott just a disappointing finish and you might be a thorn in the side down there it was a, uh, a good mark good turn just couldn't finish it off interestingly now that Sharp will take the kick out for the Vales kicks it to himself and plays on elects to go towards the outer side not a great kick in fact no one's touched this and it's going to go out of bounds on the full and the nearest player to take this will be Jewel the Ruckman and Simon Jewell will take it. He's about 60 metres out from goal. He elects to play on quickly, bring it in board and finds Gary Robinson, a huge man, this centre-half forward for St Kilda City. Raining at Cheltenham, Noble Park, 1-1, one, one, Bentley, 1 behind. Thanks, Darrell. As Robinson, big high kick. It'll land about 10 metres out. Up they go. Mott was uh, dispossessed. It comes to McQueen. He gets it quickly on the left foot. Oh, that's a lucky kick. Lux of fortune has gone straight to Jason Hall, who started well. Hall gives a hand pass away, and the Vales come out of defence out towards the commentary box position. Jeffs tries to take the mark, sliding on his knees, but he couldn't do so. And Jason Rainbow's, Rainbow's picked up uh, Sharpie, Andrew Sharpie. Thanks, Peter. Throw in, still about 70 metres out from St Kilda City's goal. No score yet in the grand final. Yes, there is. There's one behind, pardon me, to St Kilda City. Umpires found a free kick from the throw in, and Robinson will get his second possession. Robinson goes long again, right up towards the full forward line. Mott flies from behind, couldn't take the mark. They go to ground. Oh, big tackle, but the umpire's found a free kick. It'll go to the Saints. And Gavin Hall will take this one from about 15 metres out on a reasonably slight angle. And the umpire said he was taken too high, so Hall can get the first goal of the match. Paul yeah. Lively District's play. Thanks, Boxer. You'd probably like to have him back. I certainly would. And he comes, very lazy kick, he's put it straight through the middle, a great start to the Saints. They're ahead in this uh, 1998 grand final, they're one goal, one seven. Springvale District's yet to score on the corporate design scoreboard, we've played four minutes.
Tell you what, there's more halls here than Parliament House, Dita. There, we've got uh, we've got uh, Jason Hall for Springy Districts, and of course their uh, coach Graham Hall, and we've got Gavin Hall who just kicked that goal for St Kilda City. So Re uh, read the breeze nicely too, Darrell. He started it at the um, the left hand goal post, and it came through beautifully. So they've really taken note of the breeze. Ball back in the centre here. Just under five minutes gone in the first term. St Kilda City 1-1, Springvale Districts yet to score. Ball bounced in the centre, up they go. In ruck there was uh, Simon Jewell. Nobody can get the ball out of the centre. Bit of volleyball going on, finally it's a Saints kick. Opportunity now here for, uh, for Mott, but no, he's chopped, the supply has chopped off on that occasion. And the kick bouncing just inside the line there. That kick from Warren Ruland uh, for Springvale Districts, and it's over and out for a throw in half back flank, grandstand side of the ground. It's not a uh, player, Mark Mott, that really gets in front, even when he was at Bourne. He's, uh, you know, he plays from behind quite a bit, doesn't he? Uses his body well. There's the throw in. Saints doing all the attacking. McQueen got the tap down. Quick kick out there on that occasion by Kemp, but it doesn't go very far. Fayon says the umpire as Paul Moss took the mark and kicks it out of bounds on the full. That'll be a Springvale District's free kick. Not quite sure why he played on there, Darrell. He might have thought that was touched, but it was, wasn't the best option in the end. Certainly would have uh, probably been better advised to go back and pick out an option up forward. And it's Springy District's relieving here. Chris Phelan on the mark. Glenn Kemp has the kick. Thanks, Dita. Long kick out towards the uh, centre wing here. Up they go. No mark taken. Spills to the bottom of the pack. Jason Rainbow in there. Pack of players form, whistle on play, and it's a Springdale District's free kick here, and it's going the way here of uh, Craig Smith. Craig Smith, amid lots of shouting from the crowd, up towards the uh, half forward flank, but Paul Moss in the way again for St Kilda City. Been very, very busy early. Goes for a oh. little chip pass, but it's a uh, dreadful kick. And it's gone out on the full. He was looking over there on that occasion for Vinnie Clark. Kick taken here by uh, Troy Jeffs. Oh. Up towards half forward, and there's a good St Kilda City mark back there. And it's taken here by Fernando Piquer. His uh, kick goes into Simon Jewell, and Jewell has the mark between half back and wing for St Kilda City. Heads towards the grandstand flank. Mott coming out on the lead, but the mark taken from behind, oh. and a good mark on that occasion to Ruland. Ruland too strong and took a good grab. Plays on immediately now, in towards the uh, centre wing. Jewel up high, couldn't quite take the mark. Spool, ball spills to Burns. Burns for Springvale Districts, down towards half forward. And chipping in to take a good mark there was Brad Hubel. And can take a good grab on his day, can this fella. Very, very uh, good pair of hands. Be interesting to see this kick, Darrell, because I think Springy Districts are against the breeze. The way the ball has held up a couple of times around the wing position, I think they might be against the breeze. Well, Dita, in, uh, in the reserves game, all the goals were kicked. Uh, to, I suppose you call it the tennis court end, out there, Darrell. Uh, There's the big kick from Huvel. Goes across the face of goal. Sharps in there. Can't trap it. And the ball spills over and out. Sorry, Peter. Yeah, all the goals were kicked in the, in the reserves down to the tennis court end. Do they call it the tennis court end up here at this lovely Noble Park the venue? Waiting for the throw in. It's 25 metres around. From the Springvale District's goal, they're yet to get on the scoreboard. High on that occasion was Hartnett. Couldn't get the punch, but it's St Kilda City coming out of trouble. Taken here by Sean Kearney. Kearney in towards the centre wing. Oh, knocked away there well on that occasion by Gavin Hall. Over the line and out, and it'll be a throw in. Outer side, right on the wing here. And we've been playing just on eight minutes. Daryl, a uh, Craig Smith for Springvale Districts has uh, gone off injured. He was playing as a loose man covering uh, Mark Mott, so we'll be interested to see uh, what happens there. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Paul. From the throw-in, up for possession, running onto the footies, Justin Wilson gets it over the top to McQueen, feeds off hands to Alcock. He's in a bit of trouble. He's forced to go on the left boot. Kearney's in there, a bit of a tunnel ball effort. Umpire says it was a throw, a bit unlucky there. And the free kick will go to Sean Alcock of Springvale District. Right on the wing position on the outer side here at Noble Park. St Kilda City, one goal, one seven. Springy Districts yet to score. Eight minutes and a half gone in the first oh! term. Oh, over, over the top, couldn't take the mark. Umpire calls play on. Or oh, didn't quite have enough of it. Feeling very clever tap on. Will it sit for Big Robinson? He runs onto the football. Gives it back to Feeling. Gives a hand pass further afield. Goes to Rizzio. He's a goal kicker. Straight through the guts. And then St Kilda City's got their second. Two goals, one thirteen. the Saints. Springy Districts yet to score. And, gee, that was clever work by Phil and the way he tapped the ball onto Robinson and that opened it up. Peter Kennedy, did you like that? Yeah, I think you're related to him too, Peter. <laughs> it was good work. But, uh, he, he drew the play. His terrific uh, skills, his hand skills are just enormous. But uh, 
you know, they've matched up pretty well at the moment, St Kilda City, but I remember last year they did the same against Ball, and so uh, I think Hawley uh, started himself on the wing out here. Uh, maybe I think he might put himself in the middle uh, after quarter time, I think. He may do. Steve Rizzio's first goal. He's kicked a few, uh, a few little bags for the Saints this year, particularly towards the end of the season. He'd have about 25 goals for the year at this stage, and they'll have to watch him across the half-forward line. Back in the middle... Nine and a half minutes gone, first term. Spring, St Kilda City 2 1 13. Springvale District's yet to score. Umpire pounds it down. Up they go. No Ruckman got it on that occasion. Sharp working hard in there. All big bump by Jeffs. Umpire calls play on. Ball still up for grabs. Getting caught, taking too long on that occasion was Justin Wilson. Umpire calls play on. Letting it go at the moment. Burns is in there. Feeds out a hand pass and Springy working it well wide. It comes to West. He goes on the right boot, up towards the half-forward line. No one can take the mark. The ball comes to the back of the pack. They're diving on it out there. It's hard to get a clean position, and the umpire's going to have to come in in a minute and ball it up, still letting it go. Did it pretty well in the end, and the Saints able to clear, bringing it up towards the centre wing position on the outer side. They lead in the race for the ball, and all cock does well once again to find the boundary line. And there'll be a throw in about 70 metres out from St Kilda City's goal. They've done most of the attacking the Saints so far, leading by 13 points. Ten and a half minutes gone in the first term. Pye throws it in. McQueen caught behind on this occasion, reaches over the back and Robinson. It comes to Walcock. Comes out of the pack nicely, gives a hand pass to Wilson. He sees a target, gets the ball to boot. It wasn't a great kick. Sharp made it look good in the end, got the kick away. Long up towards the half-forward flank for the Demons. And it just beats Picure out. And there'll be another throw in. This time about 50 metres out from the district's goal. They moved that pretty well in the end. Still think they're against at least a couple of goals breeze at this stage. Umpire, ready to throw it in. Jeffs will do the ruck work against the big, the stronger Hartnett who got the tap out. Burns wrapped up in a good tackle. Umpire calls play on. Boys getting slung in there. Phelan tries to get a hand pass away and the Saints come away with the football. Direct play down the middle. Rizzio from behind couldn't take the mark. The Saints are working hard there. All kicking off the ground, coming towards the half-back line for the Demons. They're working well in defence, Springy District, so they're going to find the line with a good, solid run there. And in the end, almost getting fenced was Rob Donnelly, but he did pretty well there to find the boundary line. Still 60 metres out from the Saints' goal. They're leading by 13 points. McQueen worked out of it in the ruck by Robinson. Good, strong play by the big man. Up towards the full forward line. Mott's got two to beat. He can't do it. Ruland comes out, gets the hand pass to West. West can find a bit of space. He gives it back to Rulan by hand. Good running by the backman through the middle up towards half forward. Nobody can take the mark. It comes to the front of the pack. Is that little Sion Sang in there, that nippy little uh, Vietnamese player it is. On the bottom of the pack there is Burns. Couldn't quite get it out. And the umpire really letting it go. And finally he comes in for probably the first ball up of the match. And uh, Peter Kennedy likes the look of Sang. I think the recruiting officers from Oakley Districts are out here today, Daryl. Twelve and a half minutes gone in the first term. St Kilda City 2-1. Springy Districts yet to score. Ball being tossed up. Up they go. High with Jewel. Nobody got a clear purchase on the ball. A little kick in towards half forward. And there's a free kick. And is it Warren Dixon here? He's been paid the mark for Springvale Districts. Just inside the arc. Which is probably a 45 metre arc. And he'll kick from that distance. Warren Dixon. Springvale Districts yet to get on the board. 2 1 13 St Kilda City. Dita thinks they're kicking into a bit of a breeze here. Darrell, interesting to see he's got the helmet on. Uh, that might be courtesy of the cock's hip and shoulder out, at, uh, out here last week. Yes, wearing the, uh, wearing the helmet. Oh, he's gone short. Oh. A dreadful kick in. Uh, take it on the first bounce on that occasion beautifully by Troy Jeffs, but can't uh, get the ball away. Ball on the half forward flank out of side of the ground. Could have been a free kick there to a uh, St Kilda City player and it's Chris Phelan who was scragged without the footy and he'll take the kick on the half back flank for the Saints. Play on calls the umpire now. Little kick in short finds a teammate. Good play by uh, St Kilda City. Bit of room here. Long kick out towards Hall. No, it's well over his head. Looking down here for uh, a teammate taken nicely on that occasion by Rizzio in the model on his own on the end of the goal square. And he'll stroll in for another goal to St Kilda City. They move to 3-1-19. Springvale Districts yet to score. Phelan and uh, Grosher again with their, their foot skills. You know, really come to the forward end. Good pace too on that yeah, occasion, Peter, pace. by, uh, yeah, by Grosher. He came terrific. through. And I think that the St Kilda City forwards are just reacting a bit quicker, Daryl. They're reacting quicker when it hits the ground. Spring just and, look and a bit 
flat-footed in defence. That all started from excellent disposal at half-back by Chris Field. Yeah, he's quite right. Ball back in the centre here. 3 1 19 on the corporate design scoreboard to St Kilda City. Springvale Districts yet to score. The Saints fav starting favourites in this game coming straight into the grand final from the second semi. Umpire Thompson bounces the ball again. Duel in ruck with McQueen. McQueen got a good tap. Kicked off in midair by uh, Graham Hall. Up towards half forward. Big Hartman in chase. So's Dixon. Dixon trapped it nicely for the Vales. Scrubby little kick, but running across to take it was Pickwer for St Kilda City. Little hand pass over here. Goes over in the direction now of Kerbidge. Shane Kerbidge onto the right foot. Long kick up towards the uh, centre square. Mm. And it's a St Kilda City mark. They're doing it well in this first quarter. Long kick down towards Mott again. Goes over the back. Bounces, bounces. Oh. It's bounced through for another goal to St Kilda City. And they're doing it very, very well in this first quarter. Just trying to pick up the player who kicked that out there, Dieter. And it was, in fact, Shane Taylor. Long, long goal from him. And City moving along now to 4 1 25, leading Springvale Districts yet to score. We've been playing 15 and a half minutes now in this first quarter. Again, Daryl, it shows that Breeze is really pushing. Um, that kick was all of 70. Admittedly, it bounced about 15 metres, but again, Mott playing from behind, just worked his opponent under the ball and probably allowed that to happen. But uh, Peter Kennedy's right when he says he very rarely plays in front. Ball back in the centre here and over at Cheltenham, Noble Park, 3-2 lead, Bentley, two behinds. Noble Park kicking to the scoring end. Back here at Noble Park and it's a kick out of the centre by uh, Robinson, down towards half forward. Mott got taken high, play on said the umpire. Ruland trying to kick off the ground, Donnelly threaded his way through. Got it over there to Andrew Neal. His kick goes as far as Burns. Burns got it back over now to Ruland. Up towards half forward now for the Vales. They need something, but then an awkward bounce uh, spoils their plans. Hanson Kilda City crashing through. See the ball down towards half forward, bouncing towards Mott, traps it. Grabbed by the jumper, play on says the umpire. Let it go yeah. in the end. And it's a free kick. That was Mick Hartman who uh, drove that ball down forward for the Saints. Finally, it's uh, Springvale Districts coming out of trouble here as Sean Alcock kicks it out towards the half-back line. Sean Candy now has the uh, ball in front of him. Got it back over there in the direction there of Shane Taylor. Tapped it over beautifully. St Kilda City in attack again. The ball just knocked away from the leading Mott on that occasion by uh, Gary Maxwell in the end. Over and out for a throw-in. And it's only about 20 metres around from the St Kilda City goal. It was a great fist by Maxwell. Very timely there. I think Kearney might have too much pace for West on the wing. We'll keep an eye on that. Throw in. Oh, the ball holds up in the breeze. Robinson in front. Gets first possession. Gets a hand pass further wide. It's Gav Hall on the left boot looking for Mott. He worked his position well again. Or tries to trap it. He might be gone again, umpire. What's he going to pay? Nothing. As Mott tries to flick it through for a point. It doesn't get there. Wilson gets it. Gives a hand pass to Rulin. Springy might want to find the boundary line. Kick around the line. Grosha might have given away a free kick there. The umpire says yes and play on. Jason Hall runs away with it for Springy. Gives a hand pass, which might not have been the best option as Grosha gets it for them. Costly turnover by Springvale. Grosha's kicking to the forward line, but the only man there is big Andy McQueen for Springvale Districts. The Ruckman elects to shoot it out towards the outer side. Getting caught with his eyes in the sun was all cock. Recovered well. Got a hand pass away. Oh, oh they're getting in all sorts of trouble. Turnover is Rizzio, but his kick under pressure is not a good one. And Springy Districts in defence just look very slow. And their decision making is not the best at the moment. Yes, you're right there, Dita. You know, you, if, you know, you're always told in football, do your first instinct. And uh, unfortunately, you know, I think the nerves have got a little bit of uh, spring at the moment. Thanks, Peter Kennedy. McQueen's kick in. Kearney's there on the bottom of the pack again. Slaps it towards the boundary line and finds it. And you're right, they're just not taking the first option, Springy. They're just getting caught. And a couple of times, Spring uh, St Kilda City should have made them pay. They could have been six in front. Throw in about 60 metres out from St Kilda City's goal. They're leading by 25 points. 18 minutes gone. That comes over to the back of the pack where it's all Springvale Districts. Oh, good tackle there by the Saints. They're really working hard in attack. Their forward's doing well. They try to lock it up, and that's good play by the St Kilda City forwards. Really tackling hard and making sure that their backmen earn every kick. And where Springvale had the numbers, they probably should have got that one away. Umpire's blown time on. 18 and a half minutes gone. Still St Kilda City by 25 points, 50 metres out from their goal. Getting a quick kick for, was Maxwell there for Springy Districts, but only to uh, Jewel. The Ruckman elects to give a good-looking kick out towards the half-forward flank. Good fist by Hall. Hall won't probably have the pace to keep up with Grosha. Grosha takes him on, but falls over. Here's Sang. Nice pick up by the little boy. Goes on the left boot up towards half-forward, but a disappointing finish. 
And chipping in to take the mark there for the Saints is Shane Rowley. Thanks very much, Daryl. He gives a f hand pass further afield, putting his teammates Whoa! under all sorts of pressure. Big tackle, umpire calls play on. It was a good decision. He ducked. Picker picks it up on the left boot, out towards the centre wing position where Kearney works McQueen well under the football. It stays in. Gee, they're doing well out there, but it rebounds to McQueen. He gets it and throws it on the boot. It's a spiral kick. Oh. Dropping a mark he might have taken was Paniatidis. Not good. Springy with a chance. Kicking into the square where Dixon's on his own. And Dixon takes the mark. And that really came from a mistake by the Saints where Paniatidis really dropped what he might have taken. And Dixon now can go back and have a shot from about 10 metres out directly in front and should really get a valuable goal against the Breeze for the Springvale district side. He's kicked about 53 for the year now, Dixon, so this one should be a soda for a forward of his quality. And he comes, looking to reduce the margin to 19 points. Dixon gets close to the man on the mark and has it smothered. You would not believe it. No, the player on the mark was in the right spot, so one behind. It's the first score to Springvale Districts there. One behind, one point. St Kilda City 4-1-25 on the corporate design scoreboard. We've just clicked on into time on in the first term. Thanks, Dita. Yes, a lot of players running close to the mark these days, and they paid the penalty there. There's a long kick out from Clark. Look at that, right out towards the centre wing. Knocked away by Hartnett, over the line and out for a throw in. And what a magnificent big boot in there, back into play, and uh, taking that ball right out to the centre wing on the outer side of the ground. Been playing just on 21 minutes in this first quarter. McQueen went high in the ruck, got the ball down. Nobody can get it out. Opportunity now for St Kilda City. Long hand pass. Hall's in there now for Springvale District. Got a quick kick to the ball, but it only goes uh, in, in, as far as the St Kilda City uh, part of the centre wing. Long kick up towards uh, Robinson. It's knocked away from him. In, that, in there now was uh, Sean Alcock for Springy Districts. Back in towards the centre wing again. Hall slips over. Here's the opportunity now for the Saints. Quick kick in towards Hall. Traps it nicely. Swings around. Dummy He's around onto the uh, left foot now. High kick up towards the forward line. Mott's in there. Over the back was Rule and Mott could have been taken high. Play on, says the umpire. Springvale District's working hard to get out of trouble. Came out here towards Wilson. Wilson onto the left foot. Finds Graham Hall. And Graham Hall all on his own will take the mark for Springvale Districts. They need to mount something. Long kick up towards half forward looking for Huvel. Huvel leaps high. Can't take the mark. Traps the ball again, but he's under plenty of attention. Ooh. Ball yells the crowd. And the umpire agrees. And it'll be Jimmy Panatiatis who takes the free kick for St Kilda City. Tough call, Darrell. He hardly yeah. had that. He hasn't changed Bomber Thompson, has he? Funny of tides. Goes in short now. Looking over here for Crusher and finds him right on the centre wing. Ashley Crusher. Hall stands the mark. There's the kick. Down towards half forward. McQueen's high, but it's over his head. Oh, coming through was uh, Andrew Neal. Nicely. Got it over to Jason Quirk for Spring Air Districts. Jason Quirk through the centre. Down towards half forward. And uh, coming out to take the mark there was uh, Rulin, was it? Came out to Jeff. West. Oh. West nearly had his head pulled right off. That was Troy Jeffs. Thanks, uh, Dita. And Scott West nearly had his head taken off. He's still down on the ground. Ooh. He's got the free kick. Gets up gingerly as the trainers run to him. It might have been Big Simon Jewell over the top doing that. I'm not sure. It certainly earned the uh, free kick the hard way there, did Scott West. But he wants to get on with it quickly because uh, that siren is not far away here for quarter time. Just on uh, 23 minutes gone. West comes in. Oh, he runs close to the man as well. Puts the ball out towards the forward pocket. Quirk's underneath it. Tension from Rowley. Play on says the umpire. No, he doesn't. He's paid Quirk the mark. And Jason Quirk has the ball for Springvale Districts. Now can they get their first goal for the, goal for the quarter with the siren for quarter time? Be a tough shot, Darrell. Imminent. Be a tough shot, and Quirk forcing his way into this grand final after kicking four goals last week after coming into the side very late in the season. He'll kick from the pocket. He's about 30 to 35 metres out. Deep in the forward pocket. On the right foot, there's the kick. They like it. They're clapping. Dixon's clapping. And it's the first goal on the board in this grand final to Springvale Districts. And the corporate design scoreboard now shows St Kilda City 4-1-25, leading Springvale Districts 1-1-7. And we've been playing just on 24 minutes in this first quarter and a very valuable goal, Peter Kennedy. Yeah, terrific kick into the breeze, Darrell. Um, Quirk, as Dieter said, you know, I watched him in the reserves a few weeks ago um, and he kicked six and he, his last week's performance was tremendous. He kicked four and gave away a couple. He's a real focal point for Springvale. 
Paul back in the centre. Spinning out with that was Jason Rainbow for St Kilda City. Drives him deep into attack. The ball bounces down to uh, the forward pocket where it beats uh, Mark Mott over the line and out of bounds. Just in front of the scoreboard, 35 metres around from St Kilda City's goal. They lead 4-1 to 1-1. I don't think Gavin Hall's too well for St Kilda City. He just seems to be favouring that knee, left knee. We'll keep an eye on him. And a big fist by McQueen. And he gets it as far as the St Kilda City player in. Taylor gives a hand pass to Phelan on the left boot. It's going to be right to the line, but touched. Well played by Ruland. It was a good kick by Phelan, right to the line, but Ruland doing the disciplined thing there and just getting his fingertips to it. So another behind to the Saints. They're 4-2, 26 Leading Springvale Districts 1-1-7 on the corporate design scoreboard. We've played 24 and a half minutes in the first term. Got to be close to a siren. Andrew Sharp from fullback now. Taking the kick outs. He goes straight down the middle, keeps it low and gets good distance. Up they go, Burns picking it nicely. He's a very good player, Burns. He's a clean possession winner. Goes out towards the outer side looking for Dixon. Oh, good run on that occasion there by Hall of Springvale Districts, but he couldn't pick it up, so there'd be no advantage. And getting the free kick. Taken too high. The helmet fell off. And umpire's blown time on here as Hall gives it back to his teammate, and Dixon. And Dixon will take it. Umpire just called play on when he was walking back. I'm not quite sure why he paid that. Well, if you did Bomber Thompson, you wouldn't know why, dude. Well, well thanks, uh, thanks, Boxhead. So at quarter time, the siren sounds at, Spring, at St Kilda City, four goals to 26, leading Springvale Districts 1-1-7 on the corporate design scoreboard. Just a reminder, in the earlier game today, in the, in the third preliminary final, um, Parkdale, far too good for Noble Park, winning 12-17 to Noble Park 3-5. That was after Noble Park ran North Dandenong to uh, level pegging before extra time last week. So a very interesting result there. Parkdale to play North Dandenong in the grand final. Time now for the bounce of the ball to start the second quarter here at Noble Park in the Division 2 Grand Final and uh, taking it out of the air with Jewel. Feeling got a little hand pass over here to uh, Robinson. Robinson a long kick in towards the uh, forward line. You, uh, doing a bit of pushing and shoving there was Mark Modden. He's been... Uh, oh. Hang on, he's got the free kick, has he? Honestly, how could he... Well, I thought it would have gone the other way. How could he hold the player when he... I thought that would have gone the other way to me. It looked like Mott was pushing his player out. But he has, in fact, been awarded the free kick about uh, 12 metres out from goal, directly in front. So Mark Mott will come in and put St Kilda City's... No, he won't. He's missed it. No, he hasn't. It's swung back in. That's a goal. And, uh, well, a bit of, a, uh, bit of an anti-climax there because uh, to give goals that easy with a little bit of pushing and shoving uh, in grand finals, I'd, I don't know. Just incredible. Like, he's 50 metres know. off the ball and he's behind him. And how would the player in front be holding him? Peter, I think that was the point. The umpire was a long way from that one, and uh, they both looked like they were holding each other, and it should have really been play on, but I guess the umpire's well, in the best Whatever it cost position. me again. With Darryl, I found out about uh, Craig Smith for Springvale. But, I mean, you've got to get close to the action. That's just ridiculous. Sorry, Paul. Uh, you found out about Craig Smith from uh, Springvale. With the twins in the hammy, they might expect him to come on a bit later. Thank you very much, Paul Oglethorpe, as the ball driven under the forward line again for St Kilda City. They're running hot, but at last it's a Springvale mark in defence. And the Vale's coming out towards McQueen, out of a half-back flank. Can't take the mark, but running through and doing it well on that occasion was Sean Alcock. Down towards the uh, attacking side of the square to centre square, the ball off the pack comes to Paul Moss. Paul Moss out towards Kearney, who's got plenty of space out there in the centre wing, and the Saints back into attack, in towards the forward line again. Mark pushes his player out again, Mark Mott. Play on, says the umpire, and uh, a little kick around the corner, sees it over the line and out of bounds. I'll have to put my other glasses on. He's, uh, because if he's not pushing his opponent out every time the ball comes down on the Prime Minister of Portugal. There was no betting at sports bet on this game, was it, Dale? <laughs> Waiting for the throw-in. It's right about uh, two or three metres around... From the uh, St Kilda City goal, there's a throw in high was McQueen as the rain starts to fall here at Noble Park. Scott West picks it up and takes it through for a rush behind to St Kilda City. They move along now to 5-3-33, leading Springvale Districts 1-1-7. That's on the corporate design scoreboard. Two and a half minutes gone, second term. Thanks, Darrell. Graham Hall to bring the ball back in, really starting to rain heavily here. Hall finds a teammate there in Alcock about to uh, at centre half back for Springvale Districts. This rain should suit St Kilda City considering they're leading by 26. Hartnett goes for a big fist from behind. It's on the centre wing. Kearney sees the ball go over the boundary line. He's had a bit of the football so far in this match. 
He's got a lot of pace and he came second in their, or third in their best and fairest, so he's had a very consistent season, Sean Kearney. Throw in. Out in the centre wing, out of side position here at Noble Park. Up they go. Jewel got the tap down. Saints working nicely. A chain of hand passes ends again with Kearney. He goes further afield looking for Robinson in eight, and he takes the mark. St Kilda City moving the ball quite nicely as Robinson moves it on reasonably quickly. Mott going to go from behind once again. Rizzio in front. It comes to ground. Alcock cleaning up, doing a good job for the Demons. And he just dribbles it along the boundary line. And there'll be a throw in about 50 metres out from St Kilda City's goal. Three and a half minutes gone in the second term. St Kilda City 5-3, 33 leading Springvale Districts 1-1-7 in the grand final. From the throw-in, comes to the front of the pack. West wrapped up in a good tackle again. Springvale not clearing it quickly enough. And just not getting a kick out of that defence very easily at all, the Demons. And there'll be another throw-in. They gained about 10 metres and killed the city. About 40 out from their goal. Umpire throws it in. McQueen gets a good fist away. It comes to Wilson, can't control the ball, it's getting very slippery out there. Gives a clever hand pass over his head, was good to Hall. Hall's hand pass probably wasn't as good, lets Jewel come in. Jewel may have been tripped, umpire calls play on the Saints, moving it in towards the forward line. But a bad kick there and it's gone out of bounds on the full. So a free kick to the Demons. Still well in their defensive half. And if anything, that breeze I think has died down a little bit in this quarter. From the back line, the Demons trying to work it out. They've got a couple of players loose here. One of them's Gary Maxwell, and Maxwell takes the mark at centre-half back. He tries to move it on quickly, looking for the lead of Sharp. No Hoyvel down. over the top. No one down for Springvale Districts is coming through with a bit of pace. Here's Kerbidge. He drives it in towards goal. Oh, Mott up very early. Had to be a free kick. Umpire calls play on. West might have driven into the turf. He might be pinged here if the umpire doesn't look at it. Oh, they wanted him for holding the ball. It would have been unlucky, but it might have been on because... Mott flew very early there. Umpire called play on. It came to West, and West really tucked it in underneath him. St Kilda City, 5-3-33. Springy Districts, 1-1-7. It's only 10 metres out from the Saints' goal. Umpire pounds it down. They fly. Springy trying to work it out. The kick doesn't go very far. Trying to uh, take the ball on that occasion was uh, Clark. Vinnie Clark couldn't get it. It comes back to Moss. He snaps over his head. Umpire does a long way, but Moss likes this. The Saints might have their sixth. It's another one to St Kilda City. One thing I've noticed, Dieter, is that uh, players like players like Paul Moss uh, that have been doing the tagging against uh, uh, against Burns and that have got on top of their opponents. You know, and it looks like a reverse situation now that Burns might have to tag Moss. So, uh. Very ominous signs here for Springvale Districts at the moment. St Kilda City leading this match by 32 points. Umpire pounds it down. It comes to Sharp. He's wrapped up in a tackle. Wilson leading in the race for the football. Can't get it clear. Kearney taps it over his head, but it goes to Walcock. Taken as he kicks the ball, but it goes along the ground. Mick Hartnett leading in the race. It's two on one out there as Haynes gets the football for the Saints. Gets it on his boot up towards the centre wing position. They fly. It comes towards the front of the pack. West Springy has the numbers. Good dive in there by Hall of... Uh, St Kilda City, umpire calls play on the Demons trying to work it away with handball it comes to Burns, back him to get a kick in here he does and it's an effective one and Burns gets it I think to Maxwell Maxwell, he's got Sang on his own but uh, he does elect to go there in the end Sang's got it, can use his pace now all runs around, does it pretty well goes on the right boot, puts it in towards goal he's a good footballer this kid it's another goal and this time to Springvale Districts, they're 2-1-13 Trailing St Kilda City, 6-3-39, and that's why you reckon he looks good, Peter Kennedy. Yes, Dieter, that's what I say. You know, that's probably the first opportunity the young fellas had to use his pace, and uh, he just went around those players easily and uh, topped it off with a nice goal. And over there at Cheltenham, goals to Fru and Gorazides have brought the Demons back to 3-2-20, trailing Noble Park, 5-3-33. And Gavin Hall coming off the ground. Peter Kennedy found him with an injury before. Bounce of the ball back in the centre and uh, tapped away there by Jewell. Opportunity now for the Saints to go forward through Kerbidge. Down towards their half forward line it goes. Off Robinson. Running through hard there was uh, Cooper Hayes, who's just uh, come on the ground, I think. Out towards the centre wing it goes, though, with Springer Districts bounding back. It'll bounce, bounce, and just beat on that occasion. Yep. Uh, free kick, is it? Mark Haynes over the fence. He's paid the free kick, and it'll uh, be paid here to... Uh, 
That's uh, Troy Jeffs out there for Springy Districts. Ooh. Immediately onto the right foot, looking in there for Sharp. Shepherd's well. Ball bounces, taken here by Paul Moss for St Kilda City. Swings around onto the right foot, back in towards the centre wing, but McQueen in the way for the Vales. And Andy McQueen takes the mark. Plays on, once it's again kicking 50. into the man on the mark. We've got to be 50, says Dita, but it rebounds off here to Kemp. Kemp onto the left foot, down towards half forward. Nobody can take the mark there. It's the opportunity for Moss again to uh, get the Saints out of trouble. He got it over there to Shane Taylor. Taylor down towards half forward for the leading Mott. Mott tries to knock it further afield. Here's an opportunity now for Rizzio onto the right foot. But he's uh, offline on this occasion and has banged it over the line and out on the full. And it'll be a free, free kick to Springvale Districts taken here by Andrew Neal in the very last line of defence for the Vales. Eight and a half minutes gone, second term. St Kilda City holding sway 6-3 to 2-1. They're trying to work their way back into this game. Light rain falling. Dark clouds above here. We're waiting now for Neal to bring the ball back into play for Springvale Districts right around towards the centre wing. Up high was McQueen. Couldn't take any mark. Hall's got a little kick onto the foot. Opportunity here for Rob Donnelly. Can't pick it up. Taylor's in there. Battling for the ball both sides. Nobody can get it out. And finally it's over the line and out for a throw in. Still on the centre wing, outer side of the ground. Daryl, just on that one with McQueen. Uh, a player certainly is entitled after taking the mark to shape up to kick to a flank, and the player can't come over the mark and smother like that. There's the throw in. Tried to knock away, uh, knocking it away there was Jewel. Just falls to the ground. Nobody can get it out. Finally, it's the Saints working their way out of trouble with handball. Ends up with Crusher. Crusher in towards centre half forward. Nobody can take the mark. Battling over the top of it there on that occasion was Sean Alcock. Play on, says the umpire, as Rizzio's got it. It's uh, Scott West trying to get his way out of trouble now. Oh. Got the hand pass beautifully over here to uh, Sean Sang. He worked the ball for the refield. Hubel went high, couldn't take the mark. Coming out in defence is Rowley here for um, St Kilda City. Out towards the centre wing it goes. And it's a mark here nah. to uh, the experience. Oh, no, no, no. Vin Clark. And he's not going to pay 50 for that. Uh, look, this is, uh, well... An indifferent umpiring display by umpire Thompson on this occasion. I never knock the umpires, but this is ordinary. And this is 50 metres here, being given to Clark. I don't know what he was supposed to do, how he's supposed to pull up there, and it was an experienced uh, free kick by Clark because he threw himself to the ground when there was hardly any contact. There's the kick by Clark, off the side of his boot. High flyers uh, feeling there, couldn't take the mark. Back there on that occasion was Neil for Springvale Districts. They pile in on top of the uh, ball and the umpires uh, whistle on play. And it's going to be a ball up about 20 metres out from the St Kilda City goal. Should give about 350 metres to Springvale and leaving this game up here. There's the bounce of the ball. We've been playing nearly 11 minutes. Second term, big thump away there. Oh. By uh, McQueen, kicked in mid-air by Crusher. Let's wait on the goal umpire, oh. but it's just offline. Would have nearly been the goal of the year, Dita. That was from about 42, Darrell. He just... Uh... And uh, has gone through for one behind only. 6-3. So that's now 6-4. 40, St Kilda City. 2-1, 13, Springvale Districts. And it's Andrew Sharp bringing the ball back into play for the Vales in towards the centre. Hartnett went high over the back, couldn't take it. Spills cleared up Burns. Burns handles it nicely. Onto the left foot. Looking down here for Quirk. Quirk out in front of Rowley, couldn't take the mark. He's back in there with his bulk again, but Rowley too agile. Got it over here to Hartnett. Hartnett. Hartnett taps it further afield to Paul Moss. Moss traps it. Little right foot pass in towards uh, half forward, and it's Orson killed the city at this no. stage. Down towards half forward. <laughs> Sweating on a 50, but it didn't happen. Ball at half forward here for St Kilda City and Sharp in defence for Springvale District. Kicks it high, but Moss once again back. The shaping is the best player on the ground, Paul Moss for mine. Takes the mark again for the Saints. He drives them in towards centre half forward. Oh, oh high flyers, nobody can take the mark. Ball back on the deck. They pile in, wrapped up in a tackle there. Umpires whistle on play and it's oh. going to be a free kick. And once Look, again, honestly. he's picked out a free kick to St Kilda City here, and it'll go here to Shane Taylor for the Saints at centre half forward. It's big Gary Robinson, I think. There, don't That's Gary Robinson. Thank you very much. Taylor was in there. Thanks, Duda. I was looking the other way, but uh, Robinson much, has Duda. the ball for St Kilda City, and he'd be about 40 metres out from goal, directly in front, kicking to the Mudamir Street end. Kicking for St Kilda City's seventh goal. Give them a handy break in this grand final if we can steer this one through. Comes in. There's the kick. 
long and high, but it's just floating away to the right at the last moment. Through four, one behind, taking the Saints to 6-5-41, leading Springvale Districts 2-1-13, coming up to the 13-minute mark, second term. Darrell, well, they really need a spark from someone, don't they, uh, Springy? Uh, you know, they just seem to be just a little bit down. Their body language at the moment, they're not sure about what they're supposed to do with the football. You know, even Sharpie at the moment, the kick in, you know, he knows he's got to go direct, and he has. Indeed he does, right up to the uh, centre square. Umpire calls play on, it's hard in there. Trying to take possession there, it comes out to Burns. As usual, uses it nicely, gets it to West. Or oh, he had to take first option. Paul puts his teammate yeah, under pressure. Link. Oh, he did well in there, actually. Got it back to Burns. Burns now pumps it along to the forward line, looking for Quirk. Quirk versus Rowley. Giant thump from the Saint defender, and they're going to get away again as it comes to Crosher. Gets it out towards the wing position. They've got two players out there. One of them's Kearney, takes the mark. Takes one bounce. He's got a lot of pace and space. Gets it up towards the full forward line. Good play by Ruland, leading Mott to the to the boundary line and takes it over and finds the safety of the line. But again, uh, St Kilda City just getting away too easily from the attacking area of Springvale Districts. It was a great fist by Rowley, and that opened the door for Grotcha to get it away. Throw in, 60 metres out from the Saints' goals. McQueen up there, gets it to the front of the pack. The Demons working hard to get it away. It comes to Hall of uh, Springvale Districts. Gives a hand pass back to Donnelly. He kicks a wobbly old one. PQ in the van. Oh, tried to do a bit cute there. Take the mark. Burns, beautiful play. Shape the dummy in towards Quirk. And Quirk takes the mark beautifully. And a lovely play there by Burns. Oh, Quirk runs around and he's put it through. He's pretty happy. That's a cheeky way to kick a goal. But Springvale Districts get their third. <laughs> Just terrific, Robbie Burns there. Well, you know, his foot skills are just enormous. And Quirk gets his second goal, and Peter, uh, it was great play by Burns. Yeah, he's just terrific. Uh, you know, his foot skills, his hand, you know, he, he got one taken high, you know, but there's no whistle on it. But being such a quality player, he wasn't worried about that. He just went on and just hit uh, Quirk on the button with it. And as you said, Dita, a bit cheeky running around, but uh, might give the big kid a bit of confidence kicking that one. Just an injury update down here. Um, Always got his um, ankle uh, iced at the moment, and it, it looks uh, fairly serious. Thanks very much for that, Paul Oglethorpe, keeping us abreast of all the news. As the punch comes down to Hartnett, comes right through the pack, up towards the half-forward flank for St Kilda City, taking uh, the ball in front. Uh, uh, who was that on that occasion? Brahini on the ground. And his kick around the corner didn't go very far and goes out for a throw in about 15 or 20 metres around from the Saints' goal. About 15 and a half minutes gone. In the second term, Springy Districts 3-1-19. Not really closing the gap on St Kilda City. 6-5-41 on the corporate design scoreboard. Throw in. Still deep in St Kilda City's attacking area. They've got a few goals from these situations as McQueen tries to thump it down the ground. Couldn't get it. Umpire's found a free kick. And which way is it going to go? It's going to go to St Kilda City oh. again. This time he's called it a throw. And going back to take the free kick oh, will be no, no, Chris no. Phelan. And uh, someone's given lip, and it's going to be 50 metres. And Phelan will kick another goal from the goal square. And the umpire's really uh, probably getting away from them a little bit here. And Phelan probably really shouldn't miss this. He's going to kick this from two metres out and put the Saints further ahead. Chris Phelan now on the line. I guess it's just ill-disciplined by Springy Districts for the 50. In he comes. McQueen tries to uh, get a hand on it. It's no good. Another goal to the Saints. Back here at Noble Park, St Kilda City moving on to seven goals, 5-47. Leading Springvale Districts, 3-1-19 on the corporate design scoreboard. And I guess, uh, Peter, the Vale's on the end of some stiff stiff calls by the umpire. Yeah, so I don't like to harp on it too much as uh, you get yourself into trouble as a coach. But, I mean, you know, it, it is a grand final. You know, I mean, you've got to show a little bit of uh, leniency now and again. Streaming through the middle is Clark on this occasion, looking for Mott. Tries to trap it, but Donnelly's there. Mott's still in there. Good spin by Donnelly. Got the hand pass backwards. Oh, Springy mucking around in defence. It breaks clear for the Saints now, but good defending by Donnelly. Got a kick away. Here's Kearney, though. Gets a hand pass inboard. Taking the ball and running through is Cooper Hayes. He's got a bit of experience. Goes long for goal. Mott's tried to goal the umpire. It's another one to the Saints, and they're careering away. Watch 
And that takes St Kilda City to 8-5-53, leading Springvale Districts 3-1-19. And we've been playing just over 17 and a half minutes now in this second quarter. Very, very difficult for the Vales to get back from here. They're really going to have to do something. The rain falling here under gloomy skies at Noble Park. Ball bounce back in the centre again. Up they go. McQueen over the top. Burns couldn't take a clean possession. Over the top of it again was uh, McQueen trying to pick it up. Nobody can get the ball out. Pretty hard in there. Kemp got a little hand pass out, but it only went as far as Kenny. Kenny down towards half forward. Knocked away there. Taken by Robinson. Onto the left foot. In towards uh, full forward again. Once again, uh, Mott let his player under the ball. Swooping oh, on the ball on that occasion was Cooper Hayes. Tackled strongly there. Rulon goes in hard for Springvale Districts. Oh. Opportunity there for Breen. He couldn't quite get the ball out. Oh, Wrapped up in there. The umpire letting it go. And uh, finally, there's a the whistle on play. What's happened here? It's through for behind, one rush behind to uh, St Kilda City. Goal saving takes... tackle, Daryl, sorry, by uh, Sean Alcock there. Certainly was. 8 6 plays, 3 1. And Andrew Sharp will bring the ball back into play for Springvale Districts. They've got to pull a rabbit out of the hat here. There's the kick straight down the middle. Over the Oof. top, it was uh, Hartnett. Punched the ball away. Came out here, could That's... have been uh, holding the man. There are the two. Um... Uh, Sang, no, not uh, paid by the umpire. Opportunity here now for Graham Hall for Springer District to steady his side. Bangs into the ward, centre wing, and Scott West takes the mark. Plays on, crunched after he kicked it. Play on, says the umpire. Down towards half forward, and it's a Springvale District's mark to Dixon. Dixon in, in towards centre half forward. Opportunity now for Sang. Eludes the tackle, puts it onto the right foot, up in towards Quirk, and Quirk takes a good mark with the rain getting heavy here. But Quirk has the mark only metres out for goal for Springvale District. Great play by Sion Sang there. He just did a lot, a lot of running and was able to uh, get to the contest and get it to uh, Quirk, who took a good mark in these conditions. Quirk now, he's on a very, very acute angle. He's kicking right from the behind post. will swing around, give himself a bit of room, but he's kicked across the face of goal on this occasion and one behind, only the result. 3-2-20, Springvale District, trailing St Kilda City, 8-6-54 on the corporate design scoreboard as we come up to the 20-minute mark of the second quarter in this Division Two Grand Final for 1998. Little kick back into Crusher, and Crusher takes the mark at the true centre-half back position for St Kilda City. Feeds the hand pass, pass off to Shane Rowley. He backs his pace, taps it on the ground once. Kick out towards the centre wing here. Oh, well shepherded there on that occasion by uh, Cooper Hayes. Did it well, recovered the ball. Hand pass looking over there for Robinson. It goes too far. Nobody can uh, pick it up. Coming out in defence there was uh, McQueen for Springvale District. Scrubby kicking towards the centre wing. Looking for Sang. He's going to be under plenty of attention, but did it well. Rode the bump. Handballed it back over here to Sean Alcock. But Alcock's kick is out of the reach of Graham Hall's hands. No, he's marked it nicely just inside the line on the centre wing, grandstand side for Springvale District. I can't see who it got. It wasn't actually uh, Hall. It was Collins. Thank you very much, Dieter. In towards the uh, centre of the uh, ground here. St Kilda City working their way out of trouble. Comes over to Hartnett. Hartnett backs himself. Ball yells the crowd. Play on yells the umpire. Taken here on that occasion by uh, Kirby. In towards the centre of the ground. Opportunity for the Vales to mount something but one. Said we're all set for a start for the second half here at Noble Park. The 1998 Division Two Grand Final. Siren goes. That umpire now throws the ball in the air. Jumping across there was Jewel. Oh, running through hard there was Hart, and they tried to take about four blokes out with him. Play on, says the umpire. Clark crashes his way through. Got the hand pass over here in the direction of uh, Shane Taylor. Has the ball ahead of him. Runs into a brick wall. In the way there was uh, McQueen for Springy Districts. Out towards the centre wing, but a courageous mark on that occasion. Taken by St Kilda City through Jimmy Panateatis. Oh, sorry, it's Shane Kerbidge. Thanks, Dita. Kerbidge now. Long kick in towards the forward line. Mott leads out and takes a good, strong mark. And I tell you what, a goal here is really going to set the cat among the pigeons. Mott's already kicked three for the Saints today. And he'll go back to shoot for goal number four. Mark Mott. He was uh, third in the best and fairest count this year. Coming to kick for goal, number four in St Kilda City's 10th goal of this grand final. He's only about 25 to 30 out. Oh. His kick's not going to make the distance, and it's touched off hands there. Good work by the Springvale District's defence. 
Just seeing it through there was uh, was that touched it through, Dita? I think it was Wilson, Daryl, or uh, or Conley, but it's uh, it was in fact. Uh, Neil, Andrew Neil, knocking that ball through. Very interesting kick there by Mott. He just seemed to prod at it. Uh, didn't kick through it at all. Yes, a very interesting one. And uh, one behind only, 9 7 St Kilda City. Springvale Districts 4 2. Andrew Sharp once again kicking the ball back into play. Interesting this. I thought he might have been of more use up to the uh, middle of the ground or up forward, Sharp. But. Uh, He's kicking the ball out, touches the ball under his boot and has to evade a tackle, but he boots the ball in towards the centre of the ground, but Shane Taylor's taken the mark in the centre for St Kilda City. Taylor reels round under his right boot, down towards half forward, Mott leading out, bounces over his head, Ruland in chase, but it beats them all over the line and out about 10 metres around from St Kilda City's goals, and we've been playing just over two minutes now in this third quarter. With Sharp, Darrell, he, uh, he did that all over the final series. He, he takes the kick-ins and uh, goes across to the midfield. Uh, he's probably the best kick inside. Thanks, for, Peter. Uh, Ball just... knocked forward here, taken by Scott West. Scott West runs his full 10 and puts it onto the right boot. Out towards the uh, half-back flank. In there was... Uh was uh, Shane Taylor for St Kilda City and sees the ball once again over the line and out of bounds. A throw in between centre wing, half forward flank, out of side of the ground. St Kilda City once again in attack. Throw in. The wind almost null and void now. It's died right down as... Uh... We start into this uh, second half as Taylor comes out and gives a hand pass back. The Saints pumping the ball back into attack. Hall in the best position. Wilson from behind couldn't quite take the mark. He was dispossessed. The Saints forwards again working hard. It comes to Moss. He's got a lot of t space and time. Gave a hand pass to Kearney. Fell over. Got it back to Moss. Has time to straighten. Looking for Mott. Oh, he got in the right position. Couldn't hold the mark. And the ball goes over the boundary line for a throw in right up against the behind post for St Kilda City on the grandstand side here at Noble Park. Just 10 metres around from the Saints' goal. They're leading 9-7 to 4-2 early on in the second half. Sharp takes it from the throw-in. It comes to Neil, a hurried kick. It's got a bounce through a couple of blokes. Oh, Sang there at the bottom of the pack, tapped it out really nicely. Gave Hall of Springvale Districts the run of the football up towards. Oh, Collins taking a juggling mark, and he did it pretty well there in the end, Collins. And he's got the mark on the centre wing position for the Demons. He pumps the ball well into the attacking zone. Jess couldn't take the mark. Sharping it nicely as Hoyville, but his kick lets him down. And it's straight out of bounds on the full. And the resultant free kick will go to uh, should, Roly back there. Should have handled there, Peter Kennedy? Yeah, so, you know, it, you know, his vision there was terrible, really. He only had to defeat it off to the boy inside, and uh, that was an open goal for Springvale. Thanks, fellas. And there's a bit of a delay here on the kick-in because um, Shane Rowley didn't kick over the man on the mark. Quirk the man on the mark. He's got two goals. And what's otherwise been probably a disappointing day on the forward line so far for the Demons. Rowley decides to bring it along the members' side. Up they go. Haynes was in the best position, but Burns read the ball nicely. Delayed his hand pass well. Gave it to Collins, who... Uh, oh, dear, he's been pinged for holding the football. And uh, I think you can hear the uh, supporters in the background there. Not happy with that decision at all. So Haynes takes it from half-back, switches it towards the middle of the ground where he finds Grosher. Still basically at centre half-back, goes further out wide. Oh, Rowley takes a tremendously athletic one-handed mark. And they're looking to play on it every occasion. He falls over. It was probably a terrible kick in the end, but Springvale District's overrun the footy, taking its rainbow, bringing it inside the 50, but Good going mark. back, taking a strong mark is Rob Donnelly. And Donnelly takes the mark for Springy Districts at half-back. He plays on. Don't know if that was the right decision in the end. They're mucking around with it. A hand pass put Alcock under lots of pressure. Eventually it comes to Neil. He gives a hand pass back to Donnelly. Just kick it long, son. He does in the end. Up towards the wing position. West in the best posse to take the mark. Couldn't get it. It comes to Grosher. At the front of the pack, he goes in towards uh, centre half forward. But it's only Springy Districts there. And uh, taking the mark was Maxwell. Getting it further wide to Burns. He's had plenty of the footy. Let's see where this one goes. Oh, it's going to drop short, I think. Collins did well in the end to come from behind. Takes the mark and goes long inside the 50. Oival from behind couldn't take the mark. Picure slaps it out. It comes to Sharp. He turns on the pace, runs in the goal, and the uh, Demons get one. They're five goals to 32, leading, uh, trailing St Kilda City. 9-7-61. They needed that one, Pete. Yes, right, dude. As I said uh, a few moments ago, that the sharp he does take the kick-ins and uh, he gets up through midfield. He's such a great finisher, and you know he, his skills are just terrific. Uh, I noticed at half time, you know, when they come out, they they look really keen, Springvale, and there's a lot of footy left in this game. 
Over there at Cheltenham, Noble Park, 7-5, leading Bentley, 7-3, and George Gorazidi's turning on some good form in the third quarter. Thanks very much, fellas. Throw up, up they go. McQueen gets it from the tap down. Sharp working hard, gets a hand pass oh. away, snatched by Moss, he's been a good player. The kick goes in front of Allcock, if it will sit, it does. He gets his kick away under pressure, it's right on the boundary line, just bouncing in before it goes on the full... And there'll be a throw-in on the outer wing position. We've played six and a half, almost seven minutes in the third term. It's the Kilda City 9-7-61, Springy Districts 5-2-32. Thanks, Dita. Ball back into play, taken out of the air by McQueen. Swings around onto the left foot, only goes a few metres. Nobody can get the ball clear, but St Kilda City finally getting a kick high up in towards the uh, attacking zone for them. They're coming out in defence here is... Uh, that was uh, Andrew Neal, got the hand pass off, got it over beautifully there to Hubel. Hubel down towards half forward, trapped nicely by Collins. Collins swings around onto the right foot, little chip pass in there looking for Hall. And he finds Graham Hall, the captain coach of Springer Districts at half forward. He plays on immediately, a chip pass into towards centre half forward. And the Vale's coming alive here at Murdermere Street in this third quarter. They've got a shot on goal about 30 metres out here. And it'll be Scott West to take the shot. Gee, they're coming back here, Daryl, and uh, I think Brad Collins has given him a good lift around this area at centre-half forward. He's really held the ball up nicely. Scott West comes in, lays back. Let's wait on the goal umpire. His teammates like it. It's another goal to Springvale Districts. They're starting to come back now. They move along on the corporate design scoreboard to 6-2, 38. Trailing St Kilda City, 9-7, 61. Are they back in the game, Peter Kennedy? Yes, Daryl, uh, their leg speed, I think. Uh, Springvale's fitness just seems to come to the fore. Across half back here when they cleared there, and as Dota said, you know, Collins has given a real lift across half forward, and, and Graham Hall, such a great uh, finisher as well, and uh, hit the target straight away. So they're right in this ball game. Ball back in the centre. Umpire Thompson throws it in the air. Up high was Jewel, got the tap down. In there was Burns, working oh. hard, got it over to Kemp nicely. Kemp on the left foot, down towards half forward. Vale's in attack again. But St Kilda City coming out, doing it well in defence on that occasion with uh, Pickware doing well in defence, seeing the ball over the line and out for a throw. And it's between wing and half forward for Springvale Districts, grandstand side of the ground, and we've been playing just under nine minutes in this third term. Up they go, an important quarter for Springvale Districts. Shane Taylor wrapped up in a tackle with two Springvale Districts players. Umpire Mayor said he had no chance to get rid of it and it'll be a throw up once again. Up they go, McQueen went high, they both went early actually. Nobody could get it away. Umpire letting it go, they all pile in on top like a rugby scrum and it's going to be yet another ball up. It's between wing and half forward still. Signs aren't bad for Springvale Districts, Daryl. They just seem to be uh, really wanting that ball and tackling hard when they haven't got it. They're giving it a red-hot go in this third quarter. Up they go. McQueen thumped it away. Hubel tried the trap, and he's got the ball ahead of him. Can't pick it up. Kicks it off the ground. Here's the opportunity for Hall. Swings around on the left foot. Jason oh. Hall is in towards Quirk. And Jason Quirk leading out, takes the mark, plays on immediately. Fed it off over oh. to And coming out to take the mark was Andrew Sharp for Springvale Districts. And he's got it only 25 metres out from goal, direct in front. Starting to play with a lot more confidence now, the Vales. Hasn't this bloke lifted in this term, Darrell? He's uh, been in the middle, he's been at full back, and he's lining up for his second goal of the term. They're not going to lay down in this grand final, and Andrew Sharp skips in onto the right foot. Oh, he's missed it. Hopped it across to the right a bit. He's got and it. Another goal to Springvale Districts, and they surge again. 7-2. 44 Springvale Districts trailing St Kilda City, 9-7, 61, 10 and a half minutes gone. Peter Kennedy, they're on a roll. Yes, uh, uh, it's a bit at half time. Uh, Springvale last week and through the final series, their discipline's been terrific and uh, I think a St Kilda City player might be set off here, surely, if they uh, keep this work rate up. You know, their fitness, there's so many players for uh, St Kilda City, bandages around their legs and uh, hands on the hips at the minute and he's, uh, they're right in it. They'll be, uh, they'll be thanking God that they've had the week off. Up they go. McQueen gets the tap down. Tap along and they get out of the middle again through a Sharp. He may have been held. Umpire calls play on. Sang leading in the race for the football. Yet back his pace. He takes him on. Oh, the ball didn't come back. He goes onto the right boot into the forward line. Lovely kick by <laughs> Rowley. Lots of fortune. It goes straight to Hartnett and that's the way you want to defuse a situation. The Saints up towards half forward. They want the next goal. St Kilda City, but it's Neil. He gives a hand pass for the Demons. Gives it to West. 
West just a bit lazy, picking up the football, gets around Robinson nicely in the end. Turns on the pace, up towards half forward, hauls in the van, oh, fell over. Rowley, good pace out of defence. How can he use the ball? Good kick to uh, Vinnie Clark. Clark gives a hand pass, may have turned it over. Again, here is uh, Burns, slaps it on the hall. Hall might have been held, up by a calls play on. And as he's got it. And it was on. Definitely held by the jumper. And the umpiring just starting to come around now for Springvale Districts. And Hall, Jason Hall from about 45 metres out. It's going to be a tough kick for him. But the wind has gone here from Noble Park. He wants to have a shot for goal. And this will bring him within 11 points if he can kick it. This one goes long in towards the goal square. There's a mark on the line or a goal. Either way, it's a goal to the Demons. Paul gets his first, and Springvale District move on to eight goals, 2.50. Lead, uh, trailing St Kilda City, 9.7, 61. And uh, Peter Kennedy, who have you seen go to the bench? Yeah, Cooper Hayes has uh, been uh, dragged from the ground, and uh, Rizzio's back on, but he was left the ground in the first half with a le uh, leg injury, so just see how he goes. But uh, they've definitely stopped St Kilda. Fellas, yeah, uh, St and he's very quiet, they've been quite vocal all day, but very quiet, and Derek King giving his forehead a good workout. Thanks, thanks very much, Paul Oglethorpe. Oh, oh taking it off the pack is feeling. Oh, he's very clever. He runs to 50, goes on the left. Boot has it got the carry, he's a champion, this kid. He really turns it on when it counts. And St Kilda City get a steadier. They're 10 goals, 7, 67. 17 points in front of Springvale Districts, 8, 2, 50. And that was a wonderful goal from Chris Phelan out of the middle, Pete Kennedy. Yeah, he's just, yeah, as you said, Dieter, he's a champion, isn't he? He's a, real, he's a great player, and uh, it was funny that Derek had him uh, off the ball at the start of this second half, and as soon as he's gone into the midfield, he's gone bang from a long way out. He, he's just a terrific player. Thanks very much. Back in the middle. Gee, it's an entertaining game now, that's for sure. Just three goals in the match, plenty of time left. Up they go, McQueen gets the ball down. The ball bounced over Moss's head, but Robinson gets the kick. Up towards centre half forward. Rizzio has the ball thumped away. It's Olsen killed the city. He's feeling again. Gives an underground hand pass. That one probably wasn't his best. Oh, getting wrapped up there and holding the football. Gary Maxwell's been pinged. And the crowd not happy with it. But Rizzio will take the free kick from 30 metres out directly in front. And this will restore quite a buffer for St Kilda City. It was looked like a line ball call. Here comes Rizzio. Coming in for a second. In he comes. He's put it through. And the Saints are just starting to steady the ship. St Kilda City, 11 goals, 7, 73. Leading Springvale Districts, 8, 2, 50 on the corporate design scoreboard. Steve Rizzio's got two goals straight. And the Saints just responding to that pressure, Pete. Yeah, as well, uh, it was feeling again, wasn't it? You know, they got it out for them. And, uh, you know, they, Springvale have to come back and uh, get the next one. Uh, it's a bit of a uh, how to do in the middle with Chrissy Feeling and uh, young Brett Havel. Springvale. They need the next one, Springy. Look at Jerry! They're a little bit heavier down here now, I can tell you. Thanks, Paul. Ball back in the centre. Knocked away by McQueen. Further afield by Hubel, but it's only St Kilda City in the way there. This time through Kerbage, but uh, they're doing it well. Back over towards half forward. Sammy Dager on the ground now. Slips over, and Gary Maxwell takes the mark for St Kilda City. Oh, a careless kick. He really just put that on the boot, and he might pay the penalty here. He was looking over there for Alcock, but Mott got it. Got it over towards Dager. Coming through now well is uh, Alcock again, and eventually got the hand pass through for a goal, but a very very careless kick on that occasion. Just uh, put it onto the boot and uh, almost lets them kill the city in for a, a gimme goal there. And they were very lucky to get out of it with only one behind. Waiting now for the ball to be brought back into play. And Graham Hall will do the honours. Graham Hall kicking the ball to the outer side of the ground for Springvale Districts. Up they go, and that's a good strong mark to St Kilda City. Not quite see who is. He's got it over there, but it was a good grab, and he's delivered the ball back in towards the forward line. McQueen oh. went high, and McQueen oh, took a good grab in defence, last line of defence for the Vales. Fed off a hand pass to Burns. Oh. Whoa! A bit of hard shepherding going on there. Burns kicks the ball around the uh, 
Out of sight. Umpire's whistle on play, and it's out on the full. It'll be a free kick here to Sean Kearney for St Kilda City. Bit of excitement back behind the play there, Dita. He's on 37! Who's on first? Waiting there for Kenny. What's on second? <laughs> Kenny runs around the man on the mark, puts it onto the right boot in towards the goal square. Up they fly, oh. but a good mark there to Maxwell. Gary Maxwell in the goal square for Springvale Districts, defending grimly. They'll be coming home with what has been the scoring end in the last quarter. He kicks towards the grandstand side out oh. of play. Clark went high, couldn't quite take the mark. In there for uh, Springvale Districts was Justin Wilson. Got the long hand pass. Sang can't quite take it. Ball in dispute right on the half forward flank. Came back over here to Scott West. West onto the right foot out towards the centre wing. And a good mark out there on that occasion to Hall. This is Jason Hall. Fed off the hand pass to West. Wasn't quite balanced for it, but did it well. Got it over to Sang. And Sang takes the mark half forward flank for the Districts. Got the hand pass over to Collins. Collins looking for uh, Hall, but he's it's intercepted there by Panateatis. And his little toe poke goes over the line and out for a throw in between wing and half forward flank. Grandstand side. Springvale District an attack in this exciting grand final in Division 2. There's the throw in. They go. Collins got the tap down, but Moss took it for St Kilda City. Looking down here for Hall. Bounces, oh. bounces. Lux of Fortune. Bounce to Rizzio. Rizzio swings around onto the right foot. A long snap in towards goal. Mott's jumping around, they're all jumping around, but to no avail because it's to the right and through for one behind only. St Kilda City, 11 9, 75, Leeds Springy Districts, 8 2 50, 18 minutes gone, third term. Thanks, Daryl. And uh, if Mott doesn't play footy next year, he can take up acting. It was the biggest con job you'll ever see on an umpire, but the umpire didn't fall for it. Ruland bringing the ball back in, Alex to go to the outer side. Giving a small nudge was uh, sharp, and the umpire was right on that. And Sharp's given away the free kick, and it will go to Rainbow. Rainbow looking for Hartnett, and the big man sticks up the mitts and takes the mark about 60 metres out. What a shame for Springvale Districts. He didn't see Mark Mott doing that about five times in the first half, but he picks up Sharp doing it. Same umpire. Settle down, Pittman. Wasn't As Thompson, was it? Come on, fellas, as Hartnett. He's about 55 metres out. He Pounds the ball right into the goal square. They're going to fly on the line. McQueen with a big fist. It comes to Mott. Oh, it was going through, but a great smother by Neil. Andrew Neil, great effort. That was a top smother because off the boot, that looked all right from here. And one behind us in Kilda City. They're 11 10 76. Leading Springy Districts 8 2 50 on the corporate design scoreboard. We've played 19 minutes in the third term. And Sharp prepares to bring the ball back in for the Demons. He's been all over the ground today. He does a lot of running, this guy. He's kick out towards the grandstand side. Oh, Robinson and Crosha spoiled each other there. Oh, that's oh. a free kick. Yes, yeah, that one was there. I think... I think... Now, hang on a sec. There's a blood rule here. There's a blood rule here. Hoyville going off. And it's going to be 50. You wouldn't believe this. You are a and uh, Hoyville going off the ground has given away 50 metres and Robinson will come back in and have a shot from about 5 metres in it. Very disappointing there by Brad Hoyville. Um, gee, it's a cheap 52 really. If it was a fair income 50, he'd be almost on the line. But Robinson about 15 to 20 metres out on not much of an angle at all. In he comes a big man and he's put it straight through the middle and St Kilda City move further away. They're 12 goals, 1082, leading Springy Districts, 8250. Yeah, it was pretty undisciplined there, wasn't it? You know, that 50 was uh, probably the only one I agreed with for the day. But uh, Peter yeah. Kennedy not happy with that uh, 50 metre penalty. The free kick was there. The free kick was there, yeah. Uh, he, made, he got one right for the day so far, so uh, but not the 50 metre penalty. Yeah, I guess it was a bit careless by Brad to just fall on him. Um, yes, it was, you know, but uh, seemed worse. Yeah, same worse, but the 50 really hurting Springvale Districts yet again. Back in the middle, into time on in the third term, and St Kilda City shooting out now to a 32-point lead. Robinson doing the ruck work. McQueen gets the better of that one. Will the ball sit for Hall? It didn't. They dive in on top of it. Springy can clear it here through West. His kick was smothered. Hall working hard. Here's Hoyvel running through the back. Cheeky sideways hand pass to Collins. Tries to keep the ball in front of him, but the Saints repelling the attack. Collins is still good. Gives it to Sang. 
Sang on the left boot, in towards goal, finds Quirk. No, it's gone through and Quirk threw the ball away. Got to watch out for doing that. Just one behind to Sang. And Springy Districts, 8-3, 51. Trailing St Kilda City by 31 points. The Saints, 12, 10, 82 on the corporate design scoreboard. Rowley brings the ball back in. Springy District's not manning up because Piker's got the kick and Kearney's broken. That looks like a set play. Bit of time here, Kearney, but the kick from Piker was a bit disappointing. Missed the target and beat Kearney over the line for a throwing. And down at Cheltenham, Dita, Noble Park, 7-9. Lead Bentley, 7-4. And uh, Bentley captain uh, uh, Chris Sharp reported for tripping. Thanks very much, Daryl. Goals drying up down there. Umpire calls play on. Springy District looked like they may have been held. Wilson over the top. Umpire calls play on. They're all appealing to the umpire. In the end, it's left to Donnelly to get a short kick. Robinson gets the hand pass further afield. It's going towards the boundary line and eventually goes out for a throw in. On the outer wing here at Noble Park, it hasn't rained for a while and the wind dying off. I guess that's why the football, the standard of football has improved in this quarter. Throw in. McQueen caught behind. Taylor gets it. Gives a hand pass to Cooney. A clever little underground kick. It goes to the back of the pack to Sammy Dagger. Oh, his kick's a bit of a shocker. It's going through for a behind. No, it's missed everything and gone out of bounds. And Dagger could have done a bit better than that. He had a bit more time than he thought. He got a pretty fortunate bounce, but didn't make the most of his opportunity. So Warren Ruland will bring it back in. 22 and a half minutes gone in the third term. And St Kilda City by 31 points. The kick. Good mark by Andy McQueen. Went up unopposed there and took a strong grab. He moves it on pretty quickly, looking for Hall. Used his body okay. Rainbow trying to get it. Hall almost held. Keeps the ball in front of him nicely and eventually paddles it over for a throw-in. It's a little bit disappointed in Sharpie there. Uh, he let the ball uh, two-on-one situation there and uh, he's waiting for the easy ball out and it's not like him. And I don't know if he's running out of legs or uh, just not like Andrew Sharp there. He's done a bit of running though today. Oh, uh, Burns getting the tap in there. That'll be one of the first for his career. Hartnett picks it up. His kick goes straight up in the air. It comes to the back of the pack where Haynes takes possession. He was bumped off the kick. St Kilda City working it forward. Paniatidis trying to keep it in front. That was Kerbidge. It came to Crosher. His kick off the side of the boot, bouncing towards the boundary line and goes out under the commentary position. 23 and a half minutes guard in the third term. St Kilda City 12-10. Springy Districts 8-3. Thank you, Dita. Three-quarter time siren, not far away, and Springvale District still have the job ahead of them. There's the throw in, a big thump away by Robinson. Coming through hard, he was all cocked. Did it well, but he's going to put it straight over and out on the full. Scragged as he kicked, off balance, and it'll be a St Kilda City free kick right on the centre wing, grandstand side, to be taken by the very talented Chris Phelan. Bangs the ball in towards the forward line. Coming out was McQueen, knocked it away, and umpire Thompson's found a free kick here. And... Uh, very unusual occurrence that's gone Springvale District's way. Hand pass to uh, Andrew McQueen. Handballed it off here to Hall. Hall up towards the centre wing. Up high there was uh, Clark. Couldn't quite take the mark. Spills clear to Crusher. Crusher did it well. Runs around onto the oh. rope. Oh. And it's a free oh. kick oh. going Springvale District's way. Behind the play there. Centre wing here. It was against Hartman on that occasion. And Brad Huvel will take the kick. Right in front of the grandstand here on the centre wing for Springvale District. They trail 12-10 to 8-3. And it's Huvel. Oh, he's going backwards here, looking for Allcock and finds him. But with the clock ticking away towards three-quarter time, they need to be putting that ball up forward, not fiddling around with it. He kicks it in towards the centre. St Kilda City players fly against each other. Long kicking towards centre half forward, looking for Phelan, and Phelan marks the ball <laughs> for St Kilda City at centre half forward. And there goes the siren. Three quarter time siren. And Phelan will shoot for goal from about 40 metres out. I'm not a coach, Peter Kennedy, but why in the hell would you centre the ball there with the clock? Ticking towards three-quarter time. Well, I've got no idea. He, like he's, he went backwards and he had an overlap player going through midfield. He could have fed it off to him, but he just went sideways with the ball to a three-on-one contest and uh, put down your glasses. He'll jail this feeling. Chris Phelan, best and fairest winner in Division Two, Fanale 98, puts it onto the left foot. They like it. Umpire Davenport's underneath and says a goal. And St Kilda City going into the three-quarter time break. 13-10, 88. 
leading Springvale Districts 8 3 51. And can they get back from here, Dita? There's the siren for the start of the last quarter for 1998 in Division 2. Springvale Districts up against it. Can they overhaul the big St Kilda City lead? Umpire throws the ball up, but Robinson takes it out of the centre for the Saints. Bangs it down towards the half forward line, but uh, Springvale Districts working hard in defence. A little chip kick out, but Shane Taylor in the way for St Kilda City as the rain starts falling right on cue for the start of this last quarter. Shane Taylor. Sizing up his options here. He's at half forward. He's a good 50 to 55 metres out. He's going to bomb the ball long into the goal square. Goes for the oh. top and he can kick a top too. Up it goes. Nobody can take the mark. Ball on the deck. Springer District's working hard. Ball came out to Hall. Hall takes the hand pass. Runs a few metres. Bangs it out towards oh. Jason Hall. And Jason Hall takes a sliding mark. That was Graham Hall that kicked it. There's holes everywhere here. He's a beautiful kick, Hall. There's the kick from uh, Jason Hall up towards the uh, centre wing. Oh, flying high there, but not being able to take the mark was Jeff's ball back on the deck. Umpire letting play go on here. Umpire Thompson runs in and says, give it to me, I'm going to throw it up. It's right on the centre wing, fractionally favouring Springvale District's attacking into the ground. Only a minute gone in this final term, and they are desperate for goals, Springvale City. Umpire Thompson about to... Throw this ball up, he's going to bounce it, is he? Yes. As the bounce and a good one it is. Nobody gets the tap out. Oh, uh, Springvale District player wrapped up in it there. Receives the free kick. And it's Shane Paul who's on the ground for the Vales. Too high, said the umpire. And Hall, Hall's kick's a pretty ordinary one and falls straight into the waiting arms there of Mark Haynes. In defence for St Kilda City. Very, very gloomy here at Naval Park at the moment. His kick's high, out towards the centre wing. Burns probably gave uh, Robinson a nudge in the back, but he wouldn't have even felt it. And he took a strong mark. Goes towards uh, Phelan at half forward. Ball bounces just in front of Phelan. Dipping in there was Andrew Neal. And Neal seeing the ball over the line and out for a throw in. Half forward flank, grandstand side of the ground. St Kilda City in attack. They lead by 37 points. I think Neil's been one of their best for Springvale Districts. Darrell, he's really done well across the back line. Certainly has done no argument from, the, from me there. The ball coming back in there. Springvale Districts player wrapped up in a tackle. Umpire said he couldn't get rid of it. And it's going to be another ball up. And I'll tell you what, they might have to put the lights on shortly. It's getting very, very dark up there. They can afford it, can't they, Darrell? <laughs> Special comments from Peter Kennedy. You bankrolled the bar for years. Good one. We'll get the blame for that. Oh, here's the opportunity uh, for Phelan to break his way through. Umpire said you let it go. And it's a free kick going to Rob Burns for Springvale Districts. Half back line. Go Burns, he say the Springvale District supporters. Ooh. He's gone inboard. Could have been risky. Nearly a St Kilda City mark. Back on the deck it is. Over the top of it on that occasion was Ruland. Ball still in dispute. Comes out here in the direction of Breeny. Opportunity now for the Saints. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Went to kick the ball and uh, missed it. Still in dispute there. Let the ball go, said the umpire against Uval. And it's Ooh. a St Kilda City free kick. She Moss ran onto that pretty quickly. I thought the umpire almost could have paid advantage there and he would have streamed into an open goal. Well, this if is... you knew the rules, he would have, Dita. This is Crusher. <laughs> Crusher now. Will kick... The ball right up into the goal square for St Kilda City. There's oh. the kick. It could even go through. No, it's only going to reach the goal square. High Flyers want it. Springer Districts have the numbers in defence, but that's not easy to get it out. A pack of players form there, trying to come through. <laughs> Hard was Breeny there for uh, St Kilda City. Whistle on play, and the umpire's going to ball this up right at the end of the goal square. St Kilda City in attack and leading by 37 points. Thanks, Daryl Pittman. Springy would have to get at least the next three. In about five, ten minutes, if they want to get anywhere back into this contest. Deep into the heart of St Kilda territory, but Hall grabs it out of the rucks, gives a hand pass to Burns, and very unlucky for Burns. He, the ball came off his toe and out of bounds on the full, and Moss can really take his time here and have a shot from about 30 metres out on a pretty tough angle. Very tough angle indeed, but he'd probably be best advised to have a shot and waste a few seconds here. Gives himself a bit more room. Swings it in towards goal. The umpire's done a lot of work. And it's uh, just the one behind there. So St 
and Gilda City move on to 13 goals, 11, 89. Springy Districts, 8, 3, 51 on the corporate design scoreboard. Graham Hall to bring the ball back in. And he's a wonderful kick out. You'd love to be on the end of one of his kicks. He's got to go up the middle, Peter. Just unsure. He elects to go to the outer side, Pete. Looking towards Hoyville. Hasn't taken an overhead mark all day. And uh, the ball comes off hands and out of bounds. As the crowd starts to get a bit rowdy on the uh, balcony at Noble Park. It's about 70 metres out from St Kilda City's goal. Don't know what you, why you bring your relatives, do no, they? Didn't, they wouldn't be here, Darrell. They wouldn't pay to get in. Throw in. Up they go. Vinnie Clark got the tap down in the end, but it goes straight back over the line. So St Kilda City really running down the clock now. We've played five and a half minutes in the final term. And they're leading 89 to 51. A 38-point lead to the Saints. Noble Park leading by five points over at Cheltenham. 8-10 to 8-5 in the last quarter. Might go there live in a minute, Darrell. From the throw-in, it comes to Maxwell. He gives a hand pass away to Hall. Hall goes towards the outer side. It could be almost on the full umpires right there. He says, no, it came off hands and out of bounds for a throw-in. So Springy District's really struggling to bring the ball out of the back line at the moment. And the Saints just content to have the ball locked up in their forward area and wind down the clock. McQueen wrestling in the ruck. It goes to uh, Robinson, gives a hand pass on his own there. Running into the goal is Hall and he's missed a simple shot. Hall misses a soda. 13 goals, 12 St Kilda City, 89. Leading Springvale Districts, 8-3-51 on the corporate design scoreboard. We've played six and a half minutes final term. Thank you, Dieter Lehman. Waiting now for the ball to be brought back into play here at Moodamere Reserve in Noble Park. Time running out for Springvale Districts for 1998. There's the kick back into play. Mm. A sliding attempt to mark by Shane Paul there and just grabbed it. Lucky it didn't bounce out. There's his kick out towards the centre wing, looking for Sharp. Over the back there was Rainbow. Couldn't quite take the mark. They pile in on top of it. Umpire lets it go, but then blows the whistle and decides on a ball up. It's centre wing, outer side of the ground. The Saints doing it well. They lead now by 39 points as the umpire throws the ball in the air. St Kilda City getting it away once again through Robinson. Kicks high looking for Hall, but over the back taking a good mark there was Sean Alcock for the Vales. He turns around and handballs it off. They need to make something happen here. Ball coming out looking for Burns on the centre wing. Moss is just behind him. Neither can take the mark. Clark went in hard. He's dispossessed. Over the top of it's Rizzio. Whistle on play here, and it's a free kick going. Moss's way for St Kilda City. Now lots of pushing and shoving going on there, but Moss will take the free kick for the Saints. He's looking down there for Mott. Over the top was Ruland, couldn't punch it away. Alcock dives on it. Mott's in there with him. They can't get the ball out. Oh, and once one. again, and it's a free kick going. St Kilda City's way. Gee, they've got a lot of free kicks up forward. I actually missed that decision. What was that paid for? Yeah, he, he uh, actually high, did. Yeah, he come in he late. He come in late, Andrew Neal. He come in late on uh, Mott. He's been sent off too. He's been sent off as well. He well, was late. Well, if there's any frustration setting in from Springvale Districts Football Club, they have my sympathy. That's all I'll say. It's a St Kilda City free kick, and it looks like it's going to be taken by Phelan, is it, or is he going to give it to Mott? Well, Mark Mott was the one that got, got barreled, but uh, I think it might be a bit of a ploy here by Body. But it'll, the best kick in the side, take it. It'll be Chris Phelan. Last two best and fairest in this division. Very talented footballer comes in, puts it onto the left foot, steers it through. And St Kilda City are racing away with this premiership for 1998. And at the uh, nine minute mark of this final term, St Kilda City, 14, 12. What's that, Dita? How's your maths? 96. Lead Springvale Districts, 8 3, 51. And the sun's coming out once again. And at the 15 minute mark over there at Cheltenham, Noble Park, 5 10. That can't be right. I'll have to get a, uh, a score on that. Take it away, Dita, and I'll get the. Correct score from Cheltenham. Thanks, Darrell. Ten minutes gone in the final term. The Saints have got this one in the bag. McQueen gets the tap down. Shane Taylor rips it out of the middle, though, for the Saints. Up towards the centre-half forward position, but Paul goes back 
and takes a mark for Springy Districts. He moves the ball on quickly, looking for his coach in Hall. Hall drops what he might have taken. Umpire calls play on. Vinny Clark's got it. Gives a hand pass over the top. They've got a few numbers in here. The hand pass to Rizzio. Put this one down in the book. The Saints are home. Rizzio gets his third goal. And St Kilda City break the 100. They move on to 15 goals, 12, 102. Leading Springvale Districts, 8-3, 51 in the grand final. Rizzio gets his third. And it's becoming a bit of a rock, Peter Kennedy. Yeah, all bar 15 minutes of that third quarter, Dito. You know, they've just been sensational, haven't they? Uh, secured it. They've, you know, they worked all day and they worked hard. And they've really got their, their hands firmly around their cup and they uh, richly deserved. I didn't think, uh, I must admit, I thought that Springvale earlier might have been the better side, but all but 15 minutes of this game, secured or controlled it. OK, and just over there at Cheltenham, Dita, Noble Park, 9-10, Lee Bentley, 8-6, 15-minute mark, final term. Well, it's a beauty over there, Daryl, that's for sure. As uh, Mott comes off, he's replaced by Sammy Dager. And Sammy, who's had a lean second half of the season, will come on and enjoy a premiership. Umpire pounds it down. McQueen up early, got the tap down. Again, it's the Saints working hard. Good hand pass to Moss. His uh, kick wasn't very good at all. It comes to uh, Vinnie Clark. That's clever. Gets out of the pack with a hand pass wide to Kearney. Kearney in a bit of space, can't quite pick up the ball. Looks a little bit tired out there. He's done a lot of running today. Gets a hand pass back to Rainbow. He steadies and goes in short and finds Moss, who's had plenty of the football, and Pete Kennedy will probably give him the BOG today. Moss on the centre wing, out of sight of Noble Park, pumps it long in towards the centre-half forward position. Down at the bottom of the pack, doing it beautifully is Hall. He goes in towards goal, and it's a bit of a uh, blowout now with St Kilda City. Move on to 16 goals, 12, 108. Leading Springvale Districts, 8 3, 51 on the corporate design scoreboard, and it's a romp now, Peter. Yes, they do. It's all over, isn't it? You know, they, uh, the heads are down on the Springy boys, unfortunately, and uh, this footage is full of running. You, you find that in footy, you know, just a side will just run away. They, they know they can't come back. They just sort of dig a little bit for pride to try to uh, probably outport your opponent in the last five or ten minutes. But uh, as I said earlier, you know, congratulations to the killer. They've just been terrific. Um, over at Cheltenham, uh, Chris Sharp just snapped the goal for Bentley. 9-6 plays, 9-10, 19 minutes gone, final term. Thanks, Daryl. Back in the middle, umpire pounds it down. McQueen up, could have given away a free. Robinson's been good in the middle, but this time he's been pinged for throwing the football. Yeah, Noble Park up in that game, nine, four points in front. They're the ones still leading. Thanks very much. As McQueen will want him to take this free kick, it will go to Burns. And Burns will take the free kick from the middle of the Noble Park football ground. He's been pretty valiant today, Rob Burns. He's had uh, plenty of it, and he's worked hard. He goes for a stab pass and finds Sang. Not sure if it was meant for Sang, but he was in the right spot. He was in front. He's gone out of it in a little bit. See on Sang. He's got a funny kicking style, but that's a nice drop punt up towards full forward. Quirk caught behind, and a good strong mark in front there to Rowley. He's done pretty well back there, Rowley. And elects to go wide, out towards the uh, half-back flank. Crosher working overtime there, slaps it on towards Kearney, who again slaps it on. It won't go out, though, and Springy Districts have the numbers. Hoyville, a cheeky little balk on the left boot, though he took it out before he got his kick in. And there'll be a throw in about 60 metres out from the Springvale Districts goal. Haven't kicked one for a while, the Demons. Haven't kicked one for this quarter, and we've played 13 and a half minutes of the final term. It's only scored a point. Thanks, Pete. Throw in. McQueen in the ruck. Gets it uh, forward of the pack, but nobody there. And it goes again for another throw in. So it's only four points the difference out there between uh, Noble Park and Bentley. And what a classic uh, last few minutes there'll be over there. Pity we won't have any vision of it. Yes. Throw in. 70 metres out from Springy's goal. Vinnie Clark comes over the top from behind, try and get the tap out. Oival wrapped up in a good tackle, but managed to get a hand pass further downfield. But the experience of Mick Hartnett carries the ball over the line for yet another throw in. The Saints just winding down the clock now. It's been a few years coming, this Premiership. They're going to really enjoy this one at the Peanut Farm. Just inside 50 for Springy Districts on the outer side. Umpire calls play on as McQueen was dumped in the ruck. Moss tried to tap it on for Kearney. It got there. Springy Districts working hard, but again it goes over. And the sting really going out of this game now. And there'll be a throw in about 70 metres out from Springy District's goal. They've been valiant, the Demons, but just outplayed today, apart from a short burst in that third term. Over the top comes Collins, gets a tap down to Hall. He had the ball stripped from him. 
Saints working well. Taylor, he's been a pretty good player for them as well. Gets it to Vinnie Clark, who's had a few possessions in the last term. Phelan keeps the ball in front of him. Picks it up nicely, chips it round the corner. And he got a player on his own out there in Brahini. He goes long towards centre half forward. Player slipping over. It comes to the front of the pack. The Saints have the numbers. Rizzio delays his hand pass to Brahini. He'd love a goal in the grand final. Goes in towards goal and he's put it through. And it's champagne footy by the Saints. Back at uh, Noble Park, St Kilda City, 17 goals, 12, 112, leading uh, Springy Districts, 8-3, 51 on the corporate design scoreboard. And Daryl Pittman, you've got a score update in the big Division 1 clash. Noble Park leading by three points at the 22-minute mark of the final term at Cheltenham. Noble Park, three points in front. Well, Bentley staring at a straight set's exit. This would be uh, crushing for Dimitina and the boys. From Bentley, up they go. McQueen beaten to get it to, to ground, but Wilson grabs it out of the centre. A good play there by Sharp, using his body, then feeding a hand pass. A chain of hand passes ends with Burns. He deserves one. Unselfish, gives it to Collins, who steers a goal through for Springvale Districts. Their first of the quarter. The Demons 9-3, trailing St Kilda City, 17 goals, 12. And uh, a well-deserved goal there to Collins, who's been pretty good, Pete, uh, after half time. Yeah, he was. You know, when uh, Hawley brought him on, he was, he's was he been good across half forward. He's given him a bit of a target. It was a good overlap there by Burns. It's probably the first time that Mossy's let him get away. And, uh, you know, it's a uh, late goal, but, you know, it just happens in footy, doesn't it? You know, they're, they're, as I say, the body language is pretty ordinary by the springy boys. 17-12 plays, 9-3 at the 16-and-a-half-minute mark. Final term, everything going right for the Saints. Knocked down there on that occasion by Jewel. What the, Paul Moss kicks it out of the centre. He's just been sensational for them today. But in the way was Gary Maxwell for Springvale Districts at centre half back. He peels it out towards the centre wing. And Jason Hall has also battled hard all day, takes the mark. He fed it off over there to Alcock. And Alcock passes to Collins, who marks on the centre wing. Collins now going once again close to the man on the mark and kicks it out on the full. Well, Darrell, he did go close to the man on the mark, but I thought the man on the mark cribbed about five metres. Well, he could have done, Dean. It could have done. There's the kick coming back towards uh, Moss, and Paul Moss takes the mark. You're not knocking the bag in the umpires, eh, Dean? No, he just kept coming forward. That's oh, all. Oh, right. Well, you're saying they missed it. And there's the kick out towards Clark on the centre wing. Clark got the hand pass over to Moss. Moss onto the right foot. Down towards centre half forward for the Saints and dropping back to take a good mark was Bruni. He's been pretty good since he came in. Since it wasn't him, it was Rizzio. Rizzio over towards the half forward flank looking for Phelan. Can't quite pick it up. He's still in after it like the terrier that he is. Knocked forward now by the Springvale District's defence as Phelan's on the ground. Long kick down towards half forward over Sharp said. Running across here for St Kilda City now was uh, Ferdinand Piqua. Kick coming in towards Hartnett. Can't quite handle the ball. But he's got enough pace to get away from Quirk. Swings around onto the right foot out to Rowley. Rowley marks on the centre wing. There's no one near him. Swings around onto the right foot in towards half forward. Here's a chance again for Rizzio. Rizzio looking for some space. His kick was smothered. Bounces across half forward. Opportunity now for Crusher. Crusher onto the right foot. A long snap in towards goal. But it's slightly offline and through for one behind only. Taking the Saints to 17, 13, 115, leading Springvale Districts 9, 3, 57, 18 and a half minute mark coming up. Kick out coming out here towards Scott West for Springvale District. Traps the ball nicely. Got it over here towards Jason Hall. He has tried hard all day. Hall now takes a bounce. Onto the right foot, in towards half forward. Hartman sticks one up, one hand. Spills to Quirk. Quirk handballs over here to Sang. Sang onto the left foot. But he's offline as well, and he's kicks just to the left and through for one behind only. It was one of the Kilda City 9 4 58. Sorry, uh, Springy Districts 9 4 58, trailing St Kilda City 17 13 115. It was one of their best passages for the day, that I thought the way Springvale worked it into the forward line. Just yeah, the transition was good then, Duda, but uh, unfortunately a little bit too late for him. But, uh, you know, I think obviously St Kilda take the, the pressure off him at the moment, so, you know, but I just noticed there, you know, that. Uh, Darrell called it 18 and a half minute mark and, and Paul Moss is still chasing hard on this boundary line. It's terrific. Yeah, working hard as it comes to Sang on the outer side, uses his pace or decides to duck in board to Wilson. Wilson gives it by hand to a Hall. Hall taken out with a big shoulder and by Haynes. 26 minutes gone, final quarter at Cheltenham. Noble Park lead by four points. Thanks, Darrell. Bentley needing a goal to get up out there. What a great game that sounds like. Throw in. 
forward pocket or half forward flank for Springy Districts. It comes to the back of the pack where Burns gets his head ripped off. But he's, he's pretty disciplined, Rob Burns. He gets up and he'll go back and have a shot for goal from about 40 metres out. He's a tough nut, Rob Burns. He rarely lets the, the uh, ill discipline get the better of him. He's been taken high a few times today, but each time he's just got up and taken the kick. And he comes. He really deserves a goal. And he comes. It won't be one, though. He's pushed it across to the far side and just one behind. So Springy Districts move on to nine goals, 5.59. Trailing St Kilda City, 17, 13, 115 in the grand final of 98. We've played, we're into time on now, 20 and a half minutes gone in the final term and the Saints are really going to enjoy this one as Rowley really easily brings it out to Vinnie Clark and the Saints just winding down the clock. Clark in the back pocket. He's got taking plenty of time. Waiting for the siren. Clark pumps it long. McQueen's in the best position at top grab two to Big Andy. That's a good grab by the big man. Plays on. Elects to go across the ground. He's just going to get away with it to Burns. And Burns takes the mark. Burns chips it in towards the forward line. It uh, goes to Hall. He turns around. He probably deserves a goal too. Hall rips it around the corner and a great finish by Hall. Too little too late though for Springy Districts. They're 10-5-65. Trailing St Kilda City, 17-13. 115. You got an update for us, Dave? An update. A final score from Cheltenham. Noble Park have won its way into the grand final. Noble Park, 9-12-66, has defeated Bentley, 9-7-61 in the preliminary final. Five-point victory to the Bulls. Well, disappointment there for uh, Bentley. Peter, uh, they've lost two games for the year in the regular season and out in straight sets. Yeah, Tito, it would be disappointing for Paul and uh, the Bentley club. I know how uh, focused they were during the year when we played them. They were really keen to, uh, but to Noble Park's credit, you know, they're always there, aren't they? They are. From the middle, St Kilda City get it out of the middle and it goes straight to Steve Rizzio, who's going to wind down the clock and go for another shot. He'll shoot for his fourth goal. And the Saints really enjoying this one now. They said at three-quarter time they wanted to really give it to Springy Districts and run away with it, and they've done exactly that. They're up by 50 points at the moment, and Rizzio can make it 56. He won't on this occasion, though. It's fading away, and he just snuck it through for a behind in the end. So he's got three goals, one Steve Rizzio, and the Saints move on to 17, 14, 116, leading Springy Districts 10, 5, 65. We've played 22 and a half minutes in the final quarter. Thank you, Dita. Waiting now for the ball to be brought back into play. The players going through the motions now as the Saints have this flag wrapped up. Long kick out towards the half-back flank. Over that pack of players, in towards the centre of the ground now. Hartman picks up, swings around, better hand pass off. Got it over to Jewell, who got it over to Phelan. Phelan onto the left foot. Beautifully measured kick in towards centre half forward. And Vin Clark drifts across and takes the mark for the Saints. Kill the City now. Oh, the player slipped over there as he kicked forward, but Sammy Dager came out and took the mark. That was Rizzio slipped over. The Dager in beautiful position took the mark. And he has the ball on the forward line for St Kilda City, about 40 metres out, 35 metres out. Quite an acute angle, but he's on the right foot. Oh, he's hooked it and kicked it out on the full. And it's a Springvale District's free kick. 23 and a half minutes coming up in this final term. Kilda City runners up last year have gone one better this year. They'll be premiers for 98. That kick in going only as far as Dager again. And Sammy's got the mark. Had a half forward for the Saints. Grandstand side. And all right, almighty roar in a minute. Dager taking plenty of time. Time on the Saints side, of course, in towards full forward. Nobody there to take the mark. Ball, or was it Burns coming out with a ball for Springvale Districts? But Clark gets it, tucks it under the arm, puts it onto the right foot. Long shot of goals off line again and through four. One behind only. A little bit of pushing and shoving taking place there. Take it away, Dita. It was good pace by Vinnie Clark. Just a disappointing finish in the end from the kick in. Wilson comes out and takes the grab. For Springy Districts in the back pocket. Whoa. Oh, it's a lot's happening here. Umpire's got to calm this down. Boxhead, you keep an eye on the boxing. Yeah, Cooper Hayes uh, got him. Is, uh, well, well, it's a bit unnecessary. Oh, he's thrown another one. He's thrown uh, another one. Oh, he's getting a 96 with Hayes. This is shocking. 
umpire calls play on. Oh, this is uh, terrible to look at. Very unnecessary as Hall gets it through the middle of the ground, gives it to Wilson by hand. Goes up towards the forward line, it goes through Rowley's hands. Quirk can't hold it, lays a good tackle. It comes to PQ. Umpire ordering players off as PQ comes through the middle. Have a look at this, it comes to Big Dager, he's got a paddock. Sammy's got a paddock. Paul's chasing him. Oh, Paul gets him with a great tackle. Well done, never gave in. Dager's got it, hand pass back into play. The Saints still in the van. It looks like Mossy going for goal. He's kick off the side of the boot. The crowd losing their plot. It comes to Ruland. Goes on the left boot and gets it out towards the boundary line. Rowley tries to keep it in. He's got heaps of time and heaps of space. And he measures a kick and finds Sammy Dager inside the 50. And finally, things are going to calm down a little bit. Well... Dager in board finds Phelan and he's about 30 metres out directly in front. Things just getting really out of hand there for a while. So 10 goals in front, it's just unnecessary. Very unnecessary, Peter, you're right. St Kilda City 17, 15, 117. Springy Districts 10, 5, 65. In comes Phelan. This kick won't be a goal. Umpire doing a lot of work. And just the one behind. The first behind to Chris. He's got four goals, one. St Kilda City, 17-16, 118. Springy Districts, 10-5, 65 on the corporate design scoreboard. The kick comes into Hall in the back pocket. He shapes to hand pass and eventually does so to Rulin. Rulin gives it back to his coach. Hall runs on, delivers long, and a good kick to uh, Collins. Couldn't hold the mark. Mott's there. Oh, taken one high. Gives the hand pass back in board. Burns is in there going hard. He never shirks an issue. Oh, but a good one-two grab mark there to Rainbow, who plays on, goes onto the left boot and finds Mott, who will uh, wind down the clock right in front of the commentary position on the halfback flank for St Kilda City. He goes for a short pass in board and finds Mick Hartnett. Hartnett at centre halfback for the Saints. Played 26 and a half minutes, the Saints leading by a mile at this stage. McQueen flies from behind. It's a centre half forward for St Kilda City. It comes to Sharp. He gives a hand pass beautifully over to Wilson. Finds a bit of space and goes long towards Quirk. And Quirk finds a grab. He plays on. Probably shouldn't have in the end. And was tackled. And frustration. And there it is. St Kilda City win the 1998 Grand Final in Division 2. The Saints 17 goals, 16, 118. Springvale Districts 10-5, 65. And the win a little bit soured there, Daryl, by a sort of end of quarter fracas there. But uh, well done to the Saints, a thoroughly deserved premiership. What they want to do with some of these blokes who want to throw punches in the last two minutes of a grand final is rub them out for about ten years. That'll stop them. Yes, well, a good win to St Kilda City, thoroughly deserved premiers for 1998. They were far too good today and uh, running out comfortable victors in the end. 17-16, 118, defeating Springvale District, 10-5, 65. The Vale's just not in the class of uh, St Kilda City today. They had some really classy players, uh, Phelan and uh, some of these guys. Well, the Paul Moss was fantastic, but we'll, have, uh, we'll get Peter Kennedy's expert comments on that in a moment. But that's the final score there. St Kilda City, Premiers in Division 2 for 1998. And